Hey, United team, I wanted to congratulate you with the ratings that you have on this listing. I know how competitive flags can be on Amazon. So to see the reviews that you have is really a job well done. Now, my job is to look for potential opportunities with sellers who prioritize on Amazon. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to show you a large module uh, that you're not using that you have access to. It takes up a lot of space and is very valuable for this listing, in addition to a few other things that I noticed. My name is Sean, and I'm an account manager with My Amazon Guy. So listen, I'm going to pack this full of valuable information. It's designed to help drive more sales. I'll get to the module in just a minute, but the first thing I want to talk about are your keywords. So scrolling down, we utilize this tool here to look at your sponsored and your organic keywords, do a lot of competitive research and other things. Um, I'm noticing that you're advertising, so that's great. You've got almost 1,500 sponsored keywords. 1,652 organic keywords. Now, your organics are low. That's what I'm noticing. We recommend in this category a one to two ratio. So for every one sponsored, you have two organics. So like three to 4,000 organic would be spot on. Um, and I'm also curious, like how often you have updated the bullet points, your title, things like that, any uh uh, copy that you have in your A-plus content so that you can grow your organics. But let's see how your organic keywords are performing. So scrolling down here, you see I sorted by, and I'm going to get out of the way here, I sorted by the, um, the most searched keywords that you're indexing for. You see USA, Ukraine flag is definitely going up, uh, flagpole, American flag, flags, um, so this is interesting though. Look here on the right-hand side, this is your organic rank. And when you see double digits, but triple digits, that means that you're sometimes dozens of pages deep and it's gonna be very hard to find you. And because of this, you're forcing yourself to be pretty aggressive with your advertising. So um, my recommendation would be obviously to update your keywords, um, both sponsored and organic. Um, but let's, let's see, you know, of the keywords that you're indexing for how you're performing. So here, let's look at this small American flag. You are organically ranked 184, 3,386 people are looking for small American flag on Amazon this month. And so, um, let's not forget, you're going to have all these sponsored ads, right? That show up before yours. And then of course, all of the 183 other organic ads that are going to show. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it was that much. So 1.3 million is going to be earned just this month, Amazon us by the word small American flag. That's over $15 million a year. I believe that's a lot of money. So you got to ask yourself, um, are you willing to gamble that you're going to get any of that revenue by leaving your organics the way they are and your keywords the way they are? Because they definitely need to improve. Now, let's talk about your competition. So I took these words here, three by five American flag from your title and found this listing. Now, I'm not doing any product comparisons. What I will tell you are a couple of things. A, it's been online as long as you have. So you guys listed almost exactly around the same time. But look at their organic keywords. They have grown their organics. Their advertising cost is far less than yours because they don't have to rely on those sponsored keywords. Not only that, not only is their ad cost lower, they're actually selling more than you because of their broad organic reach. So just to put that into perspective, they show up in over 5,100 different search variations you only show up in 3,200. So they've got almost double the exposure that you do. They're spending less and they're selling more. So it's interesting. Now let's talk about what we could do for you in phase three of our three-phased SEO process. So looking at those organic keywords where you're ranked in spots 20 through 50, our recommendation would be through our SEO process to grow you in the ranks so that instead of being in spot 35 for American flags for outside three, but that's exactly your product, uh, we'd have you in the top 10 or in the top 10 here or in the top 10 here. And imagine the kind of traffic that's going to you know, create for you organically and it would help lower your A cost too as well. So 
Food for thought on that. Now let's talk about the fun stuff. So coming over here to your listing, just going through your images real quick. I wish you could really see the full flag flying on a pole um, because you don't really have a good idea of the size of the flag. And I know you've got it up in the, the title. However, seeing the full flag uh, would make a tremendous impact, like in a setting in somebody's yard in front of the building by a tree outside somewhere. Um, this, I think, is a wonderful picture. I think you did a great job with that. Um, but I do recommend a lifestyle image where it's in a setting, right, at a home or office or wherever, and you can see the flag flying. Um, love that you've got video and that you're brand registered. So I will show you that module here in just a second. Your title looks a little short, and I'm curious how often you've updated. So this is the first spot that Amazon looks to for your organic keywords, and you can put another 60 characters in here. And that's just going to help increase your organic keywords. Think of those words that we saw over here in the tool when we were looking. Um, and then coming down, oh, yeah, so this is definitely why your organics are so low. Um, these brackets aren't, aren't, they don't really do much for you. As a matter of fact, they tend to push um, consumers away. We recommend against it. Some icons, small icons or emojis are okay, but the brackets, not so much. Um but each bullet should be 250 characters, each bullet. And you've got very limited information in at least three of these. So again, think of those words that we saw and integrate those throughout here. Update this regularly. Not only if you had a longer title and more information in about this item section, are you going to increase your organic keywords and sell more flags? You're actually going to push this competitor's ad even further down. Um, so you want consumers to have to scroll quite a lot before they see a sponsored ad that's showing up on your own listing. Now, let me show you that module. So if you do anything today, please do this. Log into Seller Central and just above product description right here, just above it, you see a brand story. That's where you can put your brand logo. Talk about how you got your start, why you do what you do, what makes you so unique and special. The other thing that's nice about it is you can include hyperlinks to other brands or to brands within this, you know, items within this brand. Um, so there's a lot of benefit to doing that. Um, now looking at your A plus content, I just want to look at your alt text flag, heavy duty American flag. So that's good. I would just put sizes maybe in there too, as well. Um, you're not using all of your alt text. Um, and then the other thing who we recommend is 500 to a thousand words of crawlable text. Okay. You've got a lot of content down here. <clears throat> However, your alt text definitely needs updating and also making sure that this is updated too, as well on a regular basis, because it does index for organic traffic. I love this product grid, by the way, that you have down here really well done on that. I would certainly though update down here as well. So listen, here at my Amazon guy, we are a nearly 300 person agency and we grow sales on Amazon. Uh, we are full service and we manage over 240 brands, giving our clients peace of mind knowing that Amazon is handled so that they can focus on their business. But I'd love the opportunity to chat with you. So go ahead and click the link in my email that reads book a call snag yourself a free consultation. And then once you do that, I'll email out that competitor analysis. But thanks so much for watching. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.